Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to another Star Wars Vintage Collection figure review. We've got R2-D2. R2-D2, a census code version. Uh, yeah, Walmart or Target exclusive in the US. I don't know, I can't, it's hard to keep up these days. Anyway, these did appear in Zing Pop Culture down here in Australia. Seem to be the only place to get them. Uh, here's the rest of the figures in the wave. Um, and I feel like there was one more but it's completely blanking on me right now. Um, but yeah, neither, I haven't picked up any of them. This is the first one I've got. Here's VC234. I am going to attempt to get the two Bespin guards at minimum. Um, Imperial Gunner, maybe if I see him. You know, the, these things have been cleared out pretty damn quick, so to hunt down these two is going to be a little bit of a challenge, but we'll get there. Um, yeah, they're just priced at you know 35 bucks each so you can understand my hesitation to try and get them all sort of straight away so um but yeah love the old nod to the old sensor scope r2 empire strikes back card looks good again v vc234 i believe we're getting close to 250 already so yeah some good good looking figures I, they're all really nicely done the stormtrooper is just Killer, I wish I picked that one up when I saw him, but um, yeah, not to be the case. So here is R2. Um, it's a not, not a bad little figure. It's definitely not the best R2 out there, but it definitely serves its purpose as a little bit of a nostalgic callback to the, the vintage vintage days with the little pop-up sensor scope. Um, can't tell if this R2 is new. I feel like it is. it just feels a little bit smaller than other R2s we've had. Um, which makes me think it is a uh, reuse of the Bar 2 D2 from early on the vintage collection, mainly because he has that hole in his head where he had his little drinking spout. So, um, if I'm incorrect, please correct me. But I feel like it's sort of based on that figure, probably with some slight retooling. Um, because, yeah, it's it's hard to say, it's, given that I don't have that figure on, on hand at the moment. Um, with having the collection all packed up. Um, yeah, it's it's hard to do a comparison. It does have the little opening slot here at the front for the little tool, which is cool. It's a little zapper that he... Or is it? Yeah, maybe not. I thought it was a little zapper that he gets salacious crumb with, but perhaps not. Yeah, it's one of those little sticky ones once it pops out it's hard to get back in and have it sit there just because of the um the slenderness of the plastic but um yeah it's not a big deal so I'm sort of just gonna poke it back in and hope for the best but yeah nice detailing all over yeah I, I still think the r2d2 that came out in the three and three quarter inch Black series line back in 2013-14 is by far the best one. Um, that was the one that had the, you know, you could replace them for the jet boosters. Very much Attack of the Clones um, centered uh, that figure based on uh, the plans to have it released in the vintage collection for when Attack of the Clones was going to come out in 3D. It was sort of part of that big long-term plan. Um, after the Disney boy, I sort of changed things, but other, nevertheless, this one is a nice, be a nice addition to the shelf. You know, got to have an R two D two basically with every movie. Um, you know, if you've got a little towel, you can put that over the one for the Force Awakens. But yeah, the little sensor scope, it's not a tight fit. Uh, it doesn't fit in the top. It's not a snug fit. You know, the Black Series one has sort of like a little circle. So, but I mean, it's made so you can sort of just push it up. So yeah, you can just sort of sit in there. Oh, that's a good look. I think that's cool. So you can have him on Endor, I suppose. I don't know. Hoth. I know it's meant to be for Hoth, but you know, searching for searching for Luke. But yeah, not a bad little not a bad little figure at all. It does look good side by side with. With the new Luke, and you have little Grogu there as well. It's a nice little, nice little pairing of figures there. So for any reason, you could just have them displayed with Luke. I reckon that's cool. Having part of your Mando shelf. 
so yeah that's that's a nice little easy figure to review there's nothing really going on there's a, there's some joints um there is still the little rocker joint there on the thing there's a peg on the leg um but yeah there's no date stamps that i can find on this figure to really tell me exactly when this figure came out originally so but again like i said not a big deal still a nice one to have in the collection um yeah i'm definitely gonna be trying to hunt down those two pespered guards excuse me i've just got the hiccup so i'm gonna wrap this up thank you very much for watching i do appreciate your time and uh yeah i'll have some more videos for you very very soon hopefully so until then may the force be with you always